hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to make this very beautiful abstract flower painting with gold leaf alcoholing and some doodling and all this good stuff and uh, i i never get bored of making flowers because there that's always the most favorite uh, subject of my painting and I use uh, Staples uh, ultra premium f uh, the glossy photo paper you can use any brand that you like but I like this Staples because it doesn't have a watermark in that so I use that some papers have watermark so you just have to be careful in buying the paper that has no watermark on it because we are painting on the non glossy side of the paper that is the back side of the glossy paper only we are going to use for alcoholing paintings because that is the side when where the alcoholings flow smoothly compared to the glossy side so that's why we are using the back side so this is how the paper looks 9 inches by 12 inches I'll be using non glossy side and I just want to tell you a safety tip that when you make alcoholing paintings, make it outdoor because you don't want to inhale the toxic fumes inside your homes. That's very important. So I make the painting outside in the balcony or porch or somewhere where there is plenty of fresh air. And I don't use fancy equipments like a blower or any other things. So uh, I usually use the air blower, the very simple one. So you can make the painting anywhere, in fact. And the colors I'm using is uh, blue, violet and magenta. Those two colors go together very well. And first I add a drop of magenta. Then I add a drop of blue violet and this is totally abstract painting so you can use any color, any shape, anything that you feel like making. So I thought that these two colors go together so that's why I picked those two colors and this is the hand blower that I got from Amazon, very simple to use. So with this simple equipments, like I mentioned, you can make this painting anywhere, sitting outside in a park or anywhere that you like outside. So that way it is very safe. And once this uh, drop is dry, then I add the 91% isopropyl alcohol. That's what I have it in the small bottle. That's 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can also use 99% or any other higher percentage also. And basically you just need to blow in whatever direction you like the flower to be and it's your painting so you can make the decision what shape of, of the flower what direction the petals anything that you want you can make so it's very important that you dry the first layer of drops before you add the alcohol ink Otherwise, the ink and the paint will smudge and it won't look pretty. And also, after uh, making three or four petals, you let it dry, then may add the other layer. So that way you get the three-dimensional effect of one layer of petals over the other layer.
Yes, now is the fun part. We are going to be adding the gold leaf. Uh, so I use this Elmer's glue. You can also use the gold leaf specific glue that is available in the stores. But uh, I didn't have that, so I just used Elmer's glue. I use the back of the brush to apply the glue because I don't want to ruin the bristles part. A gold leaf glue is very good actually. So once it is partly dry, you get the tacky effect and you can easily apply gold leaf. And this is an assorted gold leaf that I got from art store. I'll just show you in a minute. Yeah, this has all colors of different golds. It's available in one pack in art store. So I just sprinkle the gold leaf in the center. And make sure to gently press it so the leaf stays in place. And another thing about gold leaf is that once the gold leaf is dry and the whole, whole painting is dry, you have to apply the gold leaf sealer just in the gold leaf area. So otherwise it will lose the shine. So to protect the shine, you have to add the gold leaf sealer. It's available, you can check it out, uh, search on Amazon, like Mona Lisa gold leaf sealer. So after the sealer is applied and the painting is dry, then the shine will be retained actually. So you gently press the gold leaf. since I'm more addicted to gold I want to add more gold touch to it so I use the watercolor fine tech metallic gold watercolor that I showed you and just applied with a little bit of water and used a tiny brush to make some strokes I really like anything that shines in my painting because I want to enhance my painting to the next level so I use anything that is shiny Just use very thin brush to apply it. And I'm also addicted to doodling my painting, so I use this. Uh, Micron 005 fine tip pen to make some doodles and designs on the flower because uh, I feel that any painting is not complete without some doodling that's how I feel but it's up to the artist and you can decide so it's Micron 005 that is a fine tip that I used and I also use some Posca pens for some more designs And this is what the best part about uh, my painting is. I like doodling with this pen. So I use that to make some random shapes of stem and leaves. Just some abstract shapes here and there. Doesn't need to be exactly like a leaf or something. You can just make it abstract. So just gently draw the veins and other areas of the leaf.
use this Kali art markers for making some more designs on the leaf. Basically, you can use any marker, it does not necessarily have to be the same brand. And it is all abstract, so it is uh, up to you, you can make any designs that you like. And I would use imagination to expand further on this doodling. <laughs>